Hey, so I was asked about how to use profiles in base flight, beta flight, and clean flight. <clears throat> well, this is a feature they inherited from MultiWii, and it's been in MultiWii for a while, but was commonly overlooked because to enable it in MultiWii, you had to make a change in one of the config files, recompile, reflash. It, it wasn't very straightforward. But since beta base flight came out, it's just been baked in, and it's right there. You don't have to do anything to enable it. A lot of people just don't realize it's there. So, all you have to do, we'll take a look at base flight first, and then I'll switch over and show it in clean flight and uh, beta flight. But in base flight, the configurator is actually a little bit nicer to use. In uh, the PID page, your profile is right here. And you just select profile 1, 2, or 3. And you also can choose that from your receiver page. Uh, right here, you can choose your profile. And you can also choose it on your mode page where you set up your switches. So again, right here, you can choose one, two, or three. And you can set up totally different switch settings for each of the three profiles. You can set up different uh, rates in your receiver tab from the different profiles. And on the PID page, you can set up different PIDs as well as different roll, pitch, yaw, rates, and TPA. So it, it, it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you switch between them using stick commands, which is uh, throttle down, yaw left, and then you select with left for profile 1, up for profile 2, and right for profile 3. You might hear in the background there my board beeping to indicate that I'm actually selecting those as I do this. I have my uh, my Nighthawk 280 here uh, set up and running just so I can demo this. So that's that's where the settings are in uh, base flight, but I, I'm just running that in demo mode. So we'll, we'll go ahead and disconnect that, shut down base flight, and we'll come here to clean flight, which is what's actually running. If I move the quad a bit, you'll see the screen react. And in here, you can only change profile from the PID tuning page. But as I change it, there's one, there's two, and now if we hit refresh, which I might not be able to because I have this in the way, now you can see we're on profile two, and I have profile two set up with Lux Float. PID controller 2, and you'll notice the PID settings changed because LexFloat uses different settings. These are still the default settings, but they're a little different than they are on uh, the way I have Profile 1 set up with uh, Multi-Wii Rewrite as the PID controller. And again, just like in Base Flight, this will also uh, let you set different RC rates. Like, let's bump this up to 1.3 just for giggles save it and we are on profile one so we'll switch over to profile two and now when we come over here we're back to rc rate of one but if we come back to profile one and refresh now we're back up to 1.3 um, i don't really want it that high right now so i'm going to leave it at one and resave so that's the uh, basics of using this functionality. It's really handy. I like to set up one profile with my preferred settings that I'm actually flying on most of the time, one profile that I set up for testing things out, and one profile where I have my uh, rate set much lower. Like you see here, I have no additional rate on profile three. And that, that's the one I use for friends who are just learning or who want to give it a try and see what's going on. Um, now, CleanFlight also has a further setting you can use, which is rate profiles, which you can set up here from the Adjustments tab. And with rate profiles, it's a little different. Um, you can't change your PID controller, you can't change your PID settings, you can just change your rates, your uh, you know, your throttle midpoint, throttle expo, RC rate, all of that good stuff, and over here your uh, 
and then we're freaking out here. Let me unplug that because it's getting noisy. The uh, roll, pitch, yaw rates as well. And the nice thing about using the uh, this uh, rate profile is you can switch those in flight by assigning a switch. So if you have a three position, you can set it up to actually change your rates while you're flying. Um, I haven't messed with that. I don't like changing things much while I'm flying, but it would be kind of handy at times, and I probably will be experimenting with it soon. Of course, I've been saying that for a while, and I haven't got to it. So that's really the basics of setting up and using profiles. They're really a handy tool, and uh, hopefully more people realize they're there and use them, because it, it's super helpful. If this was helpful and you liked it, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And, uh, you know, if you aren't subscribed, and then I'll keep making more videos to uh, explain this stuff and help people out. Thanks a lot.